Hello everyone, Estas is here. I would love to share some great news. Here we are! <laughs> but uh, we have some great release is coming up. We, we have chosen a date of 8th of October. Hopefully that stays as it is. And the album which we already been released previously within the package of Time of the Six Sun has been enhanced, remastered, remixed, redone in, in a more slow pace, so to say. Because we have had time considering all the global state of affairs and really re-listen to it. And I've been fascinated with, uh, with the message that came through Jeffrey Hoppe, through Tobias, which been recorded about 10 years ago already. The, the guitar was recorded for that film and for the time of the Six Sun film, about 2012, I think. And um, the voice itself been recorded even before that. And listening to it and re-listening to it and re-editing it, we just been fascinated with the accuracy of the message for these current times. So please keep an eye on it. Please keep an eye on our site, on the Crimson Circle website for, the, for this upcoming release because it's truly something special, especially because it's going to be released into kind of mainstream community, into iTunes and Spotify and all over the place. And we're going to release one of the tracks on YouTube as well as a soundtrack. Um, it's really something. Yeah, just because its message didn't lose its meaning, it says quite a lot. So when you have a chance, keep an eye on it. Keep uh, exploring this life. I, I say to myself, of course, first of all, and to everyone as well. And I see you somewhere along the trail. Thank you, thank you. Much love to all. We just keep walking, keep walking each other home in a way. Thank you. In the beginning, there was the question. And started all of creation. The question that spirit itself asked. The question that opened spirit up to new reality and potentials. The singular question that created all of the souled beings. love this place of birth was created with great love it was seeded with the energies of life the energies of nature and the energies of all of the potentials for humanity and now we come to the time of awakening on Earth. The energies are such that we have completed the major cycles. We have completed the experiences that we originally intended to experience. Now we come to the time of remembering and awakening. Era, the time of 
of seeding the earth with the Christ consciousness, with the potential for divinity and humanity to exist side by side. That time is here now. The call goes out from the ancient Mayans, from the aboriginals, from the Egyptians. All goes out from the American first peoples, from the African. The new systems that are coming to Earth, the way that food is grown, the way that energy is brought in and utilized. The way that energy is exchanged from human to human. The way that other humans understand their own psychology and the psychology of others are all based on the new energy or the new consciousness. It is a time of change, transformation, a time of releasing the old, a time of welcoming the new. For those who think humanity is headed on a bad path right now, stop for a moment and realize that by healing the past, tomorrow is different because it's no longer the path of karma or destiny. It becomes a path of choice and imagination and creativity. The mind is such a perfect place to escape having to deal with the love of yourself. You can occupy your mind. The mind was designed that way. You can occupy your mind with facts and figures and details and analysis. So you can forget about loving you. You can, you can build this false temple of the mind to pretend that you're smart or to pretend that you know things, but you're still running and you still know it.